Hello, this is Brett Lonsdale and in this video we're going to be taking a look at adding Social Square to Microsoft Teams. So in the previous video we took a look at how to add Social Square to a SharePoint site and really this is much the same thing uh, except for adding it as a Teams tab. So what we're going to do first of all is create a new team. So we're going to come in here and choose create team. We're going to create one from scratch as opposed to from an existing site or from a Microsoft 365 group. And we're going to choose a private team where people will need to join uh, in order to gain permissions and we're going to give it a name so this is going to be the sales discussions and we're going to hit create And so we have our new team created and we can add some members to it now. Now this is important because those people that are added as members, I'm just going to add a couple of members here, are the only people that will be able to gain access to this team besides myself. And that of course means to Social Squared as well and its content. The content is actually created with inside of hidden SharePoint lists which belong to the underlying SharePoint site for this Microsoft team. So you'll see that as we go through and create it. So we've got our brand new team in place and what we're going to do is go through and add Social Squared as a Teams tab. So notice here it's uh, in the top left hand corner. Uh, if you don't see it there you may want to search for it and if you still don't see it it may be that it's not been synced to Teams from your app catalog and in which case you need to speak to an administrator which will have that capability of pushing that out to Microsoft Teams. So we're going to select the Social Squared app here and it'll just take a moment to uh, add that tab. So we'll just hit save and what you'll notice the first time that this is added to a team, it's going to go through and create those different lists and these are hidden lists uh, you'll see things like SS posts and SS badges and so on and these are the hidden lists that actually store the content and the configuration for Social Squared and uh, once it's done that your installation is complete you're ready to go through and configure your forum groups and your forums so people can start to have different discussions and uh, you'll do that by clicking on the ellipsis in the top left hand corner coming down to forum settings and adding a forum group and we're going to get into more of that in the next video. Okay, so I hope you found this useful on adding Social Squared to Microsoft Teams. Many thanks.